welcome back. This is part two of the Blackwell Legacy. It we left off on a creepy note. Uh, our main character Rosa, she has a spirit guide. Uh, he's turned up. She's basically a portal for the uh, for the recently deceased to uh, move on to the next plane of, of existence. So let's get in. Uh, load room. GG2, I believe. Restore. Okay. So Joey's hanging around. There was the blonde girl in the park, which I successfully connected to the photograph. Uh, it wasn't much of a leap, but I felt really smart. Let's go and. Sort. You coming? Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's he doing? So, um. Yeah, so yeah, and the dog park is haunted by that blonde girl, so we have to discover that. Okay, so we've got these points back now. Um, right, let's go to the dorm room. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? Attitude. I suppose so. What do you want? Right. Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Okay. Could you take another look at the girl? Are you sure? As I said, and the other, but I'm afraid. I was going to try and mix them, but obviously. That's... Well, that's all for that's now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Leave his name out of it. Go into the notebook. So no, we can mix things. According to Kelly, Joanne is the girl in the middle. I wonder who the others are. I thought Joanne wasn't in the middle, but she was on the side. Two of the three girls in the photograph are dead. I wonder about the third. Okay. Kelly gave me the photograph in the first place. I probably should return it to her. And she probably might know who those two girls are. Right, Joey, can you talk to him? I'm not Steve. No, no, no. Joe! Shh! I want you to stop, take a deep breath, and imagine how this looks right now. <laughs> yeah. Ew, there's gums. Hey, it's open! After you. Oh, we're going. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so you got like the messy side and then the tidy side. That reminds me of some clips I saw of a uh, cafe detective, I think, something like that, in the starter where one side of the room was messy and one was clean. Right, let's get on with it. Could I ask you some follow up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine, make it quick. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Jeez. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on our desk. Where am I? Could they be? Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh. Them. You know them. Only through them. Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is... Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. And that's why she left. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, I can't make some why do you want to know? Just back home. Oh, suit yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right? Oh, oh slipping. Right, so that's it. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Okay. 
can you tell me a little bit about your why? Just oh, uh, okay, no, 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 no. So what was Joe? To be honest, there's nothing she was studying. She was so good, you know. Yeah, we've seen that. Did Joanne? Well, no. Although the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend. So you weren't here when she killed herself? No, uh, I wasn't here. No, not that it would have made much of a difference. It, Are we yours? done? Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What, you're a detective now? Well, forget it. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Right, let's go to the book. Uh... Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Susan and Allie were close friends. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Allie. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Susan. Teflon? No, we'll go over there. I'm not lugging that thing around. Saying you should. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through her stuff. Right. I've got a feeling if we go and talk, how do we exit? Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Yeah, I got a plan. So, what the heffs? Right, so we're going to talk to the dude about the extra stuff. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. What very you, angry. did you ever meet Joanne's friend Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell. I'm afraid. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's. Never mind. It's not important. All right. Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't feel it's me if you want. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. What if we go and talk to the ghost? Maybe the ghost will know something that we can use to pry into Kelly's mind. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Okay. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. Go away. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, story of song. She kisses boys and not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Susan? Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's fair. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Send me away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon? He's the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Is it the deacon as in the school? master guy or deacon as in the sense of like Cthulhu where it was like a crazy monster that was kind of like an avatar of a greater thing. I don't know. 
Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away, but that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Okay. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Okay, we have done all the options. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this we'll out. Learn something. And we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Okay. You can't go that way anymore, can we? It's not double click. Okay, so this deacon dude. He's affecting them all. He's an outrage. Right, let's see if we can break break one of them with the new deacon. God, I'd be so annoyed hmm? if Hi, this guy kept knocking again. on my door. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. yeah I suppose. Uh, what do you want? Does the word deacon mean anything to you? Deacon? No, I'm afraid not. Okay. Not well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave... Maybe. Maybe Kelly when I cause. She's kind of in the know. Hey, it's open. After you. After you, doll face. Yeah. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? Nope. I'm agnostic. Thanks okay. for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. So it's not a religious thing, either. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions. Okay. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. I'm not taking Kelly's. Oh, I don't need to take them. Can I use your phone? What? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Okay. An object works. Who do you think you're calling? Oh, I did have a dog biscuit. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. I would have thought we got like maybe. It's just a telephone. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. Ah, oh, if I right click, it does a different. Interesting. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. I recognize her. Future? I recognize her. That's... Mayor of New York. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her. like that. That's her. She looks. Ah, oh, that's so interesting. It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. Be quiet. She's covered her wall with rock posters. That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Okay, man. Apparently, that's Jeff. Okay, so we've done the posters. Done all the bosses. We've done the bed. Done the notebook. It's just a tel it's just a telephone. I thought we could have got a number out of it. Um, Davenport. The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture of Susan. Okay. Hmm. No, I don't. Maybe there's a connection. Okay. Let's see if she knows what Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Make it quick. Uh, 
uh, questioning. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. I love the eye okay. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Sure, whatever. Did we you see the metal on that girl's yap? How does she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Says human. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing. Go right in. So we're gonna go in, and we've got Joey the ghost with us. Wouldn't it be weird if he reacted? Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in. Come in. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no. I, he knows. I was just wondering. He oh, knows. real subtle. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is a living hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? <laughs> Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. He knows. He knows. I think they were trying to do something themselves. I think they were trying to access the ghost thing. Thanks. Uh-huh. I don't think... I'm not stealing stuff. Oh, hang on. I'm using the wrong key. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. It's the security guard for the hospital. Some kind of motivational poster. Okay, guys. There's nothing here. Looks like an internal phone. For paging doctors or patients, I guess. Get in contact with Dr. B. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Right, okay. So we know Davenport. We're going to ask the ghost in the park about Davenport. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. That is a problem. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. All right. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Uh... Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Okay, Davenport. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Give me gold. Maybe. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. Diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. That's very dumb. Mm. Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little Lady Lee. I won't say much. Okay, and the can you tell me anything about yourself? I don't even take Okay, okay. 
Just plan. sit tight. We'll figure this out. <sighs> you all right? This is going to take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. That's really reassuring. Okay, um, what are we going to do? The park, Washington Park, I don't know what else we could do there. Um, research on the computer. Davenport is too common a name. I need a first name at least. That's too common a word. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Uh, Allie? Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. Okay. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. Ouija board though, we got that. Um, do With him staring over my sh- I can't. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, let's... Ouija boards and Susan. I know Allie was interested in Ouija boards, but what about her friends? Why was Allie interested in Ouija boards? Hmm, no. Maybe there's a connection. The girls were interested in Ouija boards, and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? Smooth. Um. And Maybe there's a connect. Right. I've got this dog biscuit, and I want to take the ghost into this house. Come in. Be nice, Moti. She's our neighbor. Come in, come in. Are you all right, Rosa? You look a little <laughs> preoccupied. That. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's all right. Or insane. Hmm, these dog biscuits are really mushy. Come here, boy. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. <laughs> Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. Okay. See ya. Someone wants a treat, eh? He's just had a treat. Go get it. Right. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Okay, I've got no one. You said sensing. yesterday that you sense things. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? 
You look ill at ease, uncomfortable, the way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Hmm. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. I fed the dog a biscuit. I've got a biscuit back. I've had a little mini conversation. I feel like I might need another dog biscuit. Maybe to get a dog to dig or something. Okay. So, dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. So what does that make me? I don't know. A gerbil? You kind of look like a gerbil. Shut up. He's got too much sass. I'm not- Could I ask you some fault? <sighs> Make it quick. Yeah. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? No. Nope. I'm agnostic. Do you know if Joanne had any interest in Ouija boards? No. Dawn. Do you know anyone named- No, but it's sure. written- I think I- I mean- I mean, I'm sorry. Thanks for helping so out. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please let me. It would really. I've helped you. You could. Not gonna happen. Okay. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Go this way. Oh yeah. Way to turn over every stone looking for clues. What do you want from me? I'm doing the best I can. We'll try a bit harder. Hey, it's open. After you. Try the hard. So, so like, what am I missing? Yeah. Can I use your phone again? It'll only take a sec. Fine. Not now. I There's a notebook on. Not now. I'm on the phone. So. Not now. Not now. I feel like I should like. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Can what I use your phone again? It'll only. Fine. not in my items, so I can't look at it. Not now. I'm on the phone. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Okay, that didn't work. This is really, really hard. You think you've got it bad? I've got to watch. It's pretty painful, let me tell you. You're not helping. You want help? Get your little butt back in there. It's open! After you. Yeah? Joe! Shh! You want to keep your. I, Can I use your phone again? again? It'll only. Fine. Hello? Could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um. Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. <laughs> me? What can I do? Uh... Yes, hello. Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? Do? Look around, check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah. The safety bars on the window prevent me from opening it. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's... I thought... That he would... Can I use your phone again? Again? I it. It'll only I take a second. Fine. Yeah. Okay, Whatever. fine. Just hurry up. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. What Can I, I use on your telephone? phone again? Again? It'll only take... The safety bars on the window. I'm not taking. Not now. I'm, that's Kelly. She gives me. The safety bars on the window. 
Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. I thought maybe we could get him to make the curtains move or do something. Okay. Maybe the doctor knows about... Is Susan Lee a patient here? What am I on Susan. about? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. Thanks. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Just a small transistor radio. Apparently, that's Joe. Shh. You want to start a run? Keep your yap shut until. <laughs> Some small. One of them is labeled FB. I wonder. Can I get him to leave his desk? What's this door? Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. You need a key to open it. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Book. Looks like an internal... I don't have any... Joey? What is it, dear? What was it like, staying here? Like? I was on a different floor, but it's all the same. 25 friggin' years, hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. You want to know how many cracks there were in that ceiling? Not really. 54, or maybe 55. I was never sure about that last one. Okay. How well did you know Dr. Quentin? That quack. He'd come into your aunt's room, poke her, prod her, try to get her to speak. He didn't know from nothing. I'd just as soon never see him again. What was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she... Uh, wasn't pretty. But the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again from me. That's all for now. Right, right. You can't drag the dog, basically. Oh, I know. You need a key to open it. Okay. I'm not sure what I would have done with the dog biscuit. <laughs> it's that point in the game you're like, uh, this is a problem. Just a small transistor. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. Yeah. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... Um... Susan doesn't know me by that name. She calls me something totally different. Really? Well, what name would be on the list? My name is Allie. Right. Well, you're still not on the list. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. I'd like to see... I told... Oh, well, that's... Susan doesn't... She called... Really? Well, what name would be on the list? Adrian. My name is... Adrian. Sorry. No, wait. I'd like to see... I told... Oh, I'm just gonna that's... power through it. Uh, I've got a plan. It involves the phone. It involves the blowing of the curtains. I thought it would work before. I guess hey, I it's open. ask After the right you. question. Now that I know, yeah. this better be an extra Can I option. use your phone again? again? It'll only... F Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? 
performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh, sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. And he springs into action. Nice one. Let's leave and then privately read the so diary. congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. She is going into a deep hole of crime. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty... strange. I'd better take a closer look. You better. Oh. Looks like standard pol- It looks like the last- I'd bet- Looks like- It looks like Joanne like the last set of- I'd bet- God. Okay. Alright, so we've got Joanne and then a scribbled out man. Susan and Alexander. Uh, and then so many men, so little time. Ali and- Many question marks. Okay. Okay, we've got a letter. Uh, can't hear the professor. I no longer care. He won't leave me alone. I can't cons uh, can't consent. Rate. Uh, Allison is gone. What? I feel like it's missing. Oh, can't concentrate. Okay, that makes more sense. Right, he won't leave me alone. I can't concentrate. Allison's gone. He made her go. Susan is gone too. They won't let me see her. I am the only one left. I have to hold on. What do what do you want? What do you want? Capital letters, question mark, exclamation mark, through the yin yang. Are there more pages? No. I'm gonna go now. I may have. I may it's have, open. May After have you discovered something, double check the notebook. Yeah. Notebook. There we go. Could I ask you some? Yeah, she knows what we're on about. Do you know anyone named Alexander? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hold on. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Whatever. Notes. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. Could I ask you some fun? Make it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know an Alexander Davenport? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Back Whatever. to the hospital. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. I think we're done here. And he's not saying get back in there. There's like there's a missing clue. Right, we're gonna go to the Bell Foo. And we're gonna make a fool of this guy. I'd like to see I told Oh, yeah. that's ba, 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 ba. Susan did she called Really? Well what name would be on the list? I can't use that, that's a man's name. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. Oh, that's... Uh, I gave you... You did what? Yeah, it's a character in a play I'm in. Ugh. That's the... Really? Well, what is your name? This could be it. I can't use that. That's a man... My name is... Adrian. Sorry. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. Oh, that's... I thought that... You didn't see... Maybe you should check again. I missed it. I'm sure of... Well, what was... I can't use... Thanks. Uh-huh. Okay. I thought, like, she'd just use a brain and say, Alex. You know, like it, like it's a...
Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. Whoever Alex is either what? Could Alexander Davenport have killed Allie? Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Dastardly. Okay. I'd like to see. I told. Oh, that's be. That's because of Susan. Susan doesn't know me by insane. that name. She calls me something totally different. Really? Well, what? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. God, I should have been a detective. Okay. <laughs> we did it. We did it. All right. That was that was a push. That was a grind. She's bedridden. Jeez. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's right outside. But I'd like to talk to you first, if that's okay. I think you're lying. Hmm? Alexander wouldn't want to see me. He can, but he won't. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you, if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor, but I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it okay. happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. I've got the green light. Okay. Um... Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After right. Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes, the deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. It just keeps. There's going. a Cthulhu feel. Just wanted quiet, peace and quiet. I know. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet, even her life. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly, Joanne's roommate. Yeah. No, she always left when we came over. She didn't like us much, but that's okay. We didn't like her either. <laughs> she seemed quite happy about that. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them, and now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? So that's why she's a dog park, like, the first to break down. calms her down. That's interesting, isn't it? So she's like, that was her love, and she's kind of hovering around the concept of dogs and the places that they are. Which is a shame that the dogs ran away from her. Uh, okay, do you can... That's no Adrian. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Okay. We've already established this. I don't need... Okay. We 
we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Can you tell me? No. Only that wherever she is, I hope there are dogs around. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. Mm -hmm. I saw the speeding taxi and I just, well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Darn. Um, right. That's all I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got a lot of info. Look, there. Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. Oh my God, I'd slap him if he had a face. Hmm? I don't think so. Storm is coming on the radio. Thanks. Right. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend... Okay, we've seen that. Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Su I just thought maybe Susan would have something else to say. I only hope that Susan doesn't meet the same fate as her two friends. Okay. Oh, the dorm's gone. To the park we go. It's getting dark. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. What if You're a little like... out of sorts. How do you feel? Lonely. Sometimes. The deacon made me lonely, got into my head, made everyone go away. Yeah. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great, was it an accident or was it just fate? Okay. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm asking you. I hate those things. I'll never use one again. And why is that? Because... The Deacon, kid. Did you get in contact with someone called the Deacon? The Deacon! I hate him so much. I knew it. I knew it. Damn kids and your damn Ouija boards. Don't worry, we'll clean up this mess. Uh, that is... Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little lady. Oh, it makes sense. Okay. I think that's it. Joanne? She's seen that. Okay. Tommy. Look, just. We'll figure this out. She is so. strange. Don't you think she's strange? Not really. I think she's a choice bit of calico myself. Maybe it's a ghost thing. Joe. Shh. I want you to. Who cares? There's no one around. Okay, so we've tried to talk to her. Nothing happened. Let's see if Joey has something to say about something. Oh, wait a minute. Computer. Research. Oops. I already... Susan... Hmm. And Alexander Davenport was listed as being on the hockey team at NYU. It doesn't say anything else about him, though. Okay. That's too... Whoever the... It's not common. I already... Yeah. I all... Susan... We Leo already know. Yeah. 
Okay. No. My article hasn't been... No. Okay, that's that. With him still... I can't. No, no. Okay. I want to talk to... What is it, dear? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. Okay. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. Okay. So the goat Looks like it. And she's trying. That's where she is. And we have- Yep. Okay. Is this- You'll look back on this. Who do you think I- Well, judging from that silly doodle you're carrying around, I'd say he was Susan's boyfriend. You think he's involved? Anything's possible. So I think I've heard enough. Helpful. Yeah, let's. And right, okay. Right, we've read this. Judging from the photo Kelly gave. <laughs> Whoever Alexander Davenport, he's either. Yeah. There is obviously a connection between. There is obvious. Okay, we're running dry. Telephone. I have nobody to call. I don't need to bother. What is that? I'm not ready for. You coming? He's coming. Okay. Hmm. Come in! Hello again, Rosa. Come in, come in. This is different. Moti, be nice. Just one moment. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> I'm at a loss. He never acts like this. Never. It's doing? all right. Don't worry Cooking. about it. Washing up. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. No object. Here, boy. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. See ya. <laughs> Did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> I've got a plan. I've Come in. Plan. Lure the dog. Look, you've got him. Come in. Moti, behave yourself. Ooga booga. This is getting old. I. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Can't There's nothing to be. I hope. All for him, a tree. Go get it. See ya. Do you have to keep doing that to Modi? What, you going soft for that barking rat? Well, it's just not nice. Sweetheart, I take my kicks where I can get them. Don't ruin my fun. I'd like to see... Sure thing. Go right in. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Whoops. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low. And that's good. 
but they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. So Susan, could you tell me what brought- I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. They think so. I don't know. Maybe. A little bit. I have to go now, Susan, but questions. I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did we take pills? Is that what happened? We did take pills. Pills. Mushy biscuit pills diuretics come in need to take the dog for a walk the dog park look moti our neighbors come to come in come in damn refuse my biscuit I can get that one right <laughs> yeah I don't really like it Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. This is such a stupid idea that I've got. No way this is gonna work. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, if I go this way, the dog follows me. Can I come by another thing? Looks like standard poly -sile. It looks like the last set of notes in the. I'd better take a closer look. That dog. Hey, boy. Go get, get it. it. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless. Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Okay. Right. Here you go, boy. We got our leash. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. Alright, point taken. I've already gone downhill, haven't I? Oh, wow, that was just... Cut all the walk Hey out. there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are... Are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kid, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't think she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid, tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. Uh, yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah. Sort of. Hi, little guy. <laughs> yeah, why not? What's your name? <laughs> right. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Hmm. Your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... What? Oh. I'm 
sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's kind of hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him. But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him. But he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Take my tie. Here, take this, and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Go. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. Wait. You think I'll see okay. Joanne over there? Sure you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. Weird. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others, well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute. Oh, oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. It's okay, there was no drugs involved. Strange lady. Okay. Let's go into the room. Now we right, now we can hide. Oh. Yes, darling. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's go. He's got nothing to say about anything, has he? Joey! Come here. Come here. What is it, dear? I think Wait. I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get. I think we need to go and talk to Susan. Yeah, if we talk to Susan. You coming? Tell yeah, what sure. Done. I like that there's not too many characters that I can keep track of them. This is good. Okay. The Bellevue Hospital. That is the only other place left. Please be advised as visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. It's another puzzle. I wonder if he'll just... I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, but she's probably sleeping by now. Is Dr. Quentin in? He's long gone, miss. 
You can catch him tomorrow. Mm, thanks. Okay. This is the place. This is the thing. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. I'm not stealing stuff from some kind of motivational poster. Joey? Yes? That's all for now. Right, right. Okay. I don't have anyone to call. Looks like an internal... We do. We can talk to Joey. Okay, fine. Um... Just a small trend? I don't think so. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. That is distracting. And how did I... I've solved that puzzle by accident. Did I get it? I did. Okay, that's good. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Locked. Whatever's back... I don't have any... The sign says I'm not a... Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave, miss. I can't be held liable. I'll get the... Damn. Okay, that went wrong. Where would I hide? The sign says I'm not allowed back there. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Hey, Joey. Yes, darling? What happened with that radio? What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? That's all for now. Right, right. I hope you know it. You better find... Oh my god, I was so dastardly. She's asleep. Did you see me? Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Like a baby. Before what? Ooh, the Before mirror. Before that. Oh, he's the diseased man. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. Oh I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please! The others are gone. You're the only one! Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! It's I'm there, watching, waiting. Susan. Susan, you called me. You can help me. Okay. Uh, let's forcefully deal hey. with this. Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You ain't got no feet. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a god... Damn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. no. Get that away no. from me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. 
What are you so scared of? Oh, slap You're him. stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. Is he not the deacon? Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. Sure. Do it your way. Alright, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. But the devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? Huh? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop it! You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. It's just rain ink, because the guy's not gonna do that. Um. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Okay. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just... Take the tie. You know what to do. Oh, I can't believe she pulled that off. Pacifist Ow. achievement unlocked. Convince the deacon to move on. He's fine. There we go. So he's the deacon. Right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Darn right, yes. you do. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. Oh. No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? My door. Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! Can't get away from here. There's nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Okay, what do we say? No one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come. But then you are mine. Uh, this is not happening. Please! You've <laughs> got to do something! Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then 
He is mine. Lovely. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time. He has not renounced them. Okay. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes. You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. What are your sins? What have you done? I don't know. Please, God, I don't know. I didn't mean to kill those people. It's just I've been so scared and I don't know why. Please help. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Mm -hmm. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. What is that thing? I don't know. It haunted my dreams when I was alive and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. Jeez. Okay. There's nothing left to ask him, is there? Cobblestone. I knew that was something. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me. I shall but with it. Can't you just... He has his si uh... No, you might be right. What? She speaks wisdom, worm. You are totally without redemption. And you know it. Collect yourself, for the time draws near. Please, help! Like, mix it with anything. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh. Can I spot? Can't you just he his sit as? Yes. You may. F you. Okay. Hey, why don't we talk to him? The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is I carrying his book. flask. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because... It, it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That's that is not enough to save you. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace. Okay. And be troubled no more. 
He carried his sins in the flask. Oh, he couldn't let go of it. Okay. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. To, I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. He killed those like girls. My head was full of cobwebs and now but not they're really. Gone. I. All those people who died. They killed themselves because of me. Yes. I didn't know what I was doing. But that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk. And most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now. Now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe there isn't a hell. It's too late for that. You see, I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away. And I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell... Well, then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Sounds well, like an objective. This is it. Goodbye. And thanks. He smiled. And he's off. Joey is in so much trouble. He's in so much trouble. Jesus Christ, kid. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. What took you so long? It got... A little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't yeah. you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Uh, Just I did drug a dog. Glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, it was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. Medium well done. Finish the game at least once, Chief. Okay. What did I think of that game? Now, things I didn't like, I didn't like that the m music couldn't be turned down a little bit, it felt a bit loud. Um, it's not very long, but that's not the worst thing. Sometimes a quick game is quite good, you get a taste, I don't always need it to take me like 50 million hours. That was cool. Um, I like the graphic style, I appreciate some wooden, but I like this um, retro, vintage pixel. Uh, kind of thing it, and it was the voice work was really good uh, I started to get into the characters quite a bit I think that's the issue of it being shorter because I started to get into the characters I wanted to know more about um, about them but I am aware that uh, these guys will come back not in the second but the third game um, so that will be good to pick that up what did I really like I really liked um, the voice work as you can see here I thought that was really good. I thought her voice was really good. His was good. Um, they had a lot of character. Oh, she's done two of them. How cool is that? Uh, the music's good. It's just like I said, I just wish I could turn down a little that. Brilliant. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, the places could have been a little bit more interesting. Um, but they were they were good enough for what they were and I think it told the story that it was aiming to tell uh, relatively effectively I know I know what's happened I know who was who uh, the puzzles weren't too ridiculously hard because you get some puzzles where like you're just you know like um, like the Discworld game with the wizard uh, what was it Rinse Wind it's just the puzzles puzzles in that game were too abstract uh, and they're still pretty straightforward uh, yeah, I got stuck uh, stuck a little bit in the middle, but that's to be expected, and that just adds to the fun of getting through it. Um, is there no voice for the dog? 
But there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Not there's bad hundreds at all. of confused Ooh. spirits out there, sweetheart, and there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there, one lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Hehehe. <laughs>